Hello, my name is Father Rolf Hemmerling, and today, August 2nd, 2012, I've published a press release, Federal Republic of Germany Accused of Crimes Against Humanity, Appeal to the International Criminal Court and to the Office of the United Nations. The so-called Federal Republic of Germany, FRG, that is, every single responsible FRG representative personally, is accused of crimes against humanity according to the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court, namely Article 6b, Article 6c and Article 7h. On August 2, 2012, an according complaint has been submitted both to the International Criminal Court, Office of the Prosecutor, Den Haag, and to the Office of the United Nations, High Commissioner for Human Rights, Geneva. This press release is likewise the text of the complaint. The Roman Catholic priest Father Rolf Hermann Lingen, the complainant, Germany, must expect a life imprisonment solely for confessing the Catholic faith. Already sentenced earlier because of the same crime, he now shall be sentenced again, this time once and for all, because of his obstinacy. The final court hearing shall take place on September 27, 2012. The complainant is the so-called Sedevacantist. Sedevacantism is the position that the Holy See is vacant since 1958, that is, since the death of Pope Pius XII. The group of a so-called Second Vatican Council, V2, is not the Catholic Church, but an anti-Catholic sect. Many English websites offer information on this issue, for example, dailycatholic.org or novusordowatch.org. In 1997, the complainant founded a German site, later address Kirchenlehrerkom, Doctrine of the Church, for which he has already published more than a thousand texts. In short, the V2 sect does not have the four marks, specific adjectives of the Church, that is, one, holy, Catholic and apostolic. The Church infallibly condemned some teachings as heresies, of which some are mentioned in the collection, Syllabus, by Pope Pius IX and even Josef Ratzinger himself, nowadays sometimes called Pope Benedict XVI, openly declared that the V2 sect text Gaudum et Spes is a counter-syllabus. Regarding all the blasphemies and heresies of the V2 sect, with inter-religious meetings, ecumenical worship services, etc., nobody seriously thinks that the V2 sect is the Church. The complainant spreads this information confessing that he, contrary to the V2 priests, is a Roman Catholic priest. The VFRG ignores reality completely and falsely accuses the complainant of abuse of titles. Some aspects. First, the FRG completely violates the principle no punishment without a penal law. Nullum crimen, nulla pena, sine previa lege penali. There is no law at all that prohibits being Catholic, that is, is it a Vacantist, respectively, that dictates to approve a false pope as a true pope. And even if such a law existed, it would be illegal and void in itself. See Pietro Rainalucci. Second, the FRG completely violates the freedom of conscience. The FRG forces the citizens to approve the false ideology, ideology that the V2 sect is the Catholic Church. Third, the FRG completely violates the freedom of the true religion. The FRG absurdly declares that everyone who rejects the blasphemous V2 heresies is a heretic, contradictio in architecto. And as the Church is Catholic, that is, for all, every actual and potential Catholic is victim of justice of the FRG. Four. The FRG completely violates the right of a fair trial. In general, the FRG A never proves anything of its notoriously false accusations against the complainant, and B ignores all the proofs, arguments, etc. submitted by the complainant. 5. The complainant has even openly declared that he will instantly revoke his Zidavacantis conviction as soon as there is a proof that the V2 sect is indeed the Catholic Church, but the FRG nevertheless does not give any arguments that the V2 sect is the Catholic Church. 
Instead, it argues that only the Church has to give any arguments. However, in the first place, the FRG insists that the V2 sect is the Catholic Church. Thus, the FRG presupposes the exact thing that must first be proven. To stress this fact again, in all these decades since 1958, the V2 sect could only argue that Germany Excel itself claims that the V2 sect is the Catholic Church. The FRG solely points to the V2 sect, while the V2 sect solely points to the FRG. As a matter of fact, there is no argument at all, but only a circular reasoning. 6. Contrary to the FRG, the complainant has sufficient knowledge of both Catholic theology and V2 ideology. The complainant was a V2 priest candidate and made his V2 diploma with a rating very good. Not until at the end of, the, of his V2 studies he became the Vacantis and therefore refused being ordained in the V2 sect. Instead, in 1996 he was ordained by the Vacantis bishop, Georg Schmitz, a former member of the Society of St. Pius X of Marcel Lefebvre. 7. Both the FRG and the V2 sect have tried to declare the complainant to be insane. But the complainant was not only a good student of V2 theology, but already a good grammar pupil. General qualification for university entrance 1.6. In all the long years of intensive contact with many high members of the V2 sect, he never was considered insane, not until the year 2004, that is, seven years after the beginning of his substantial publishing activities, the FRG and the V2 sect suddenly invented the insanity defamation against the complainant, after they had proceeded legally against the complainant for already five years, but could neither prove him wrong nor intimidate him. Abuse of psychiatry is a standard procedure of the FRG to defame and ultimately silence critics. Up to now, the FRG engaged two psychiatrist experts in 2005, the first expert wrote an expert report that concerning the complainant, quote, There is no indication that proves a mental illness or makes it probably, probable, unquote. The second expert only stated in oral form during a court hearing that all remarks of the complainant are, quote, in itself completely logical and there is nothing that excludes or at least reduces any culpability. The complainant is completely criminally liable." Unquote. Why should and how could you renounce a conviction that is not and cannot be punishable at all, that has never been proven wrong, that is completely logical, while the opposing position has def been definitely proven wrong and is only based on a circular reasoning? Please note, the question that is dealt with is literally and absolutely a question of heaven or hell. According to Catholic dogma, it is necessary for salvation to be Catholic. For comparison, the V2 sect claims that non-Catholic societies can be, quote, means of salvation, unquote. This long-standing completely illegal persecution of the complainant solely for his Catholic belief is symptomatic of the justice of the FRG. According to Catholic standard literature, like the canon law by Klaus Mausdorff, the FRG, considering the definite breaking of the Concordate in 1957, is, quote, law-breaking, denatured, and schizophrenic, unquote. Peter Briody generally states, quote, Germany is operating a system of justice whose decisions due to the political influence on its judiciaries, its effective abrogation of the European Convention on Human Rights, the extremely poor quality of its workmanship, its unconvincing record in prosecuting perversing of justice, its hugely defective procedures, can only be classed as extremely unreliable." Unquote and the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit granted a woman from the FRG asylum, quote, because of persecution or a well-founded fear of persecution on account of race, religion, nationality, membership, 
in a particular social group or political opinion. This persecution was committed by the German government or forces the German government was, was either unable or unwilling to control." Unquote. Because of all these clear facts, it is impossible to deny that the FRG is absolutely and inexcusably guilty of crimes against humanity. The FRG permanently and heavily violates the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court, namely Article 6b, Article 6c and Article 7h. The complainant hereby appeals against the persecution and extinction of the Church in Germany. Again, as the Church is Catholic, that is for all, every actual and potential Catholic is a victim of justice of the FRG. And as even the highest courts, that is, both the Federal Court and the Federal Constitutional Court, many times and for dec decades declared the extinction of the Church as legal, any recourse to courts of law in the FRG is de facto excluded.